If you love to hear liberals whine and conservatives lecture, then stay tuned for I Say You Say. The future of America. It's a career that lasts a lifetime. A career where you're always on the winning team. Put your skills to work in the military. I was on the streets in a gang shooting people and running drugs. Now, I'm making something of myself. I kill people and run drugs for the CIA. In this job, you not only help yourself, you help your country. Only in the military would a teenager be given responsibilities like driving a nuclear submarine, maneuvering a tank, or dropping high ordnance explosives. Make a change for yourself in the military. I was in college constantly getting into pointless fights I didn't understand about nebulous concepts and belief systems. I got tired of arguing about what's right, so I dropped out of college and joined up. Now I know I'm right in the military. Learn confidence. I was having fantasies about stabbing people. Now I can do it for my country. Live the military life. Positions are unexpectedly vacant every day. In fact, I'm about to give up my well-paid job as a voiceover actor in order to sign up and be shouted at by a lot of sexually confused skinheads. I want want excitement and what could be more exciting than shitting yourself while getting shot at in the jungle certainly beat sitting in this booth all day be number one turn your life around in the military threatened again this time we mean it i'm dr phillips and i'm also dr phillips today on the show do cave paintings in museums make us violent the anti-beef movement both hitler and mussolini were vegetarians and we take on the highly charged debate about test tube babies and actually talk to one I have flashbacks and go into hysterics in science class. Do you know what it's like growing up in a beaker? That's all today on I Say, You Say. We share last names, but that's about it. I'm Peyton, that's my wife Mary, and this is I Say, You Say, where left is right and right is wrong. Or where East meets West and the West always wins. That wall came down, darling. Yes, unfortunately it did. I I don't know if you saw today's news, so who is in the right in this great dialectical disaster? Is it, as I think, a case of share and share alike? Love your fellow man and all wear matching jumpsuits while working on a collective hydroponic farm growing potatoes? Or kill or be killed, crush the weak, and starve the poor, as my wonderful wife thinks? You decide, or let us decide for you. Give us a call and let my wife, a professor in social Darwinism, or me, a lecturer in pointless and Anthropology, work things out. That's the problem with liberals. They don't know when to shut up and enjoy freedom. Let's go to the phones. Uh, yeah, hi. Here's the deal. I'm really funny, but nobody wants to hire somebody funny. I I mean, how is that fair? I I mean, I'm white, middle class, very erudite, um, you know, whatever that means, but people just respond badly to me. I I don't understand it. Are you related to my husband? (laughs) Uh, Uh... I don't think so. I hope not. Have you got a question about politics? Yeah, sure. I know a lot about politics. Hey, can I do your job? You know, I used to be on the radio back in the day. Even my husband can't do his job, you strange, pathetic little sap. Let's have a real caller, please. Hi, my name's Michelle. I'm a first-time caller to the show. I wanted to know what you guys thought about the proposition to ban smoking. Well, this is a simple issue. Smoking. Democracy at work again in our state. Seems like a good thing when you first look at it, but democracy only works when you agree with it. Then it's best to favor a totalitarian state. I'm not sure about this one. I think smoking is an invasion of my body, and I've always wanted to shoot people. I'm right behind the proposition. Me too. Thanks, Michelle. I also wanted to say hi to my stepbrother, Phil, who's been undergoing a hair transplant plant today hey phil if you're listening i hope it's six this time i won't tell anyone you've got plugs honey i'm really proud of you that's great honey but if you want shout outs call the rap station that's offensive and i'm really offended by what you're saying i'm a smoker this used to be a free country when ha <laughs> good point dolly god you're good yes good point but remember our founding fathers grew tobacco It relaxed them between stressful stints of genocide and witch-burning. And you're so against raising taxes, smokers pay more taxes than anyone. My grandfather smoked his whole life, (laughs) and he lived until he was 32. So what I'm saying is, why can't we encourage more smoking and use the money to pay for better health care and some cultural programs, bringing expressive dance and sun worship back to the inner cities? Worrying about the inner city has ruined your academic career, and this woolly thinking is going to ruin your chances of getting anywhere with me tonight. Promise? The thing is, smoking is good because it lets people make a lot of money, but so is selectively culling the population. So what I'm proposing is a change in the proposition. Let people smoke, but make cigarettes much cheaper and force everyone to smoke. That way we weed out the weak, make a lot of money in tax, and keep our national heritage intact. Line two, you're on I Say, You Say. Ah, 
I listen every time to your show. It's really made me think about the world in a whole new way. I moved out of the city because it sucks. Now I live in a compound surrounded by barbed wire and shoot and kill anyone I don't recognize on my land. Just want to say thank you. That's some quality broadcasting. Yeah, uh, thanks. That makes me feel a lot better about myself. Have you got a question? Yeah, I got corpses from 15 illegal immigrants in my yard. I killed them all myself with my bare hands. Can I get a tax break for all this unpaid work? Good question. I would certainly hope so. Ask your accountant if you can register them as dependents. Then hide most of your net worth offshore in a complex money laundering system designed to support the drugs trade. Then you can pay virtually no taxes and complain about how awful you think the whole country is, knowing you're doing as little as possible to help. Cool, thanks. That's good advice. I'm appalled at you, Mary Phillips. Ugh, why? Because that man has a garden full of corpses and you're talking about money laundering. Yes, it's a great opportunity for some profit-centric things. You missed a wonderful opportunity to talk about recycling and organ donation! Oh, God, give me strength! I married a fool. I married a fool. You know, when we first met, Peyton, I thought you were so glamorous mm-hmm. with your long hair and big ideas. You were studying for a PhD in cultural ceramic history or mm-hmm. cross-cultural underwear or something, and I was very young, very foolish. Mm-hmm. Now I see you for what you are. And what's that exactly? An intellectual cesspit. A middle-class disaster. A guilt trip wrapped in neuroses and completely unable to function in this society. No wonder I've begun to sleep around. And on that note, we have to go visit our marriage therapist. There was a conniving bitch and won't write me any more prescriptions for painkillers. Remember, when the left wing and the right wing come together, the country can really get going. Straight off a cliff. We'll see you next time. In darkness, you only have your nocturnal instincts to rely on. Ultimate Ultimate Disc in the Dark, dark. the electric, stimulating new game that's sweeping San Fierro. It's a non-contact contact contact sport where you throw a flying disc in the dark. I got it. Get him. Nail his ass. It's a new competitive sport for the uncompetitive, an aggressive, action-packed game for those who love nature and living on the edge. It's harder than football. It's faster than rugby. It's about throwing a plastic disc and catching it. Pitch, then catch, run to the goal, and score. Ultimate disc in the dark. Just like a real sport, only we made it up, and it has a great social side. Uh, Oh, my God. What team are you on? I'm on the other team. Me, too. Ah, take that, silly. But if you catch it, you got to know what to do with it. Some will struggle. Some will submit. Everyone is laughing. But it's your quest to come out on top. This is a great excuse for some serious fun and a way to meet people like you and never see them again. Oh, that's good. League games begin at sunset every night in San Fierro Civic Park. Or start your own game. And because it's night, it's not too embarrassing to play a strip version. Come and play Ultimate Disc in the Dark. Boy, I can't imagine what those guys are like in the bedroom, but I'm sure it's a bit like the Bay of Pigs. That was I Say You Say. 